evil. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost, coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Die! <laughs> what? survived you are you saying I was manufactured I was to become a god <laughs> creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings however all was lost with Raccoon City Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <coughs> now my candle burns dimly. Uh, ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortal. The right to be a god. <laughs> that right is now mine. <laughs> the right to be a god. You. Arrogant even until the end. Only one truly capable of being a god deserves that right. I'll end this once and for all. Say hello to my comrades who you've killed. I don't know where you get your confidence, Chris.
nice try. Wesker. Today's your lucky day. Next time we meet, don't count on another. Next time. Until we meet again. <laughs> playing around. We want some answers. You haven't changed. Wesker, you are alive. This is Wesker. <laughs> we last met at the Spencer Estate, wasn't it? Wesker, he was the top official with Umbrella, the leader of our STARS unit. I met him again after the Raccoon City incident on Rockford Island. Since then, we've been trying to track him down. Then a few years ago, we got a tip from a reliable source. The whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. So we paid him a visit, hoping he'd lead us to Wesker. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris. You'll never understand. It's magnificent. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, Hatred became my master. Emergency. The self I found the tyrant that killed me was dead, All and the facility the was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF-013. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. 
Who are you? I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective you will regret is the protection this, my lady. of Umbrella that officer That, I lies. promise. It seems I may have underestimated you, Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. I have Ouroboros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Your feeble attempts only delay the inevitable. The entire world will be infected. A new genesis is at hand, and I will be the creator. like a little black cockroach. Should have killed you years ago. Chris. Your mistake. It's over, Wesker. Over. <laughs> I'm just getting started.
You're merely postponing the inevitable. Challenge after all this time, Chris. How disappointing. Yes. Your plans are finished, Wesker. There's no way out this time. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. Thing about him, Albert Wesker. What? Take that as a yes. We talked about him a lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused his gift, took it for granted, and then ended up turning himself into some kind of monster. You know, I thought dear old dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, 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 he was actually a freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? That nothing of who my father was didn't somehow get passed on down to me? You of all people should know that's true. I'm just saying. The man that I am, the things that I've done, at least it all makes a little bit more sense now. What? You can blame your father all you want, but at some point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. 